Um, if you're watching this, there's a chance that you recently got burned by this notion on a quiz. Um, so I wanted to point out that the chain rule is a place where parentheses matter quite a bit. Um, and we'll do, I'll point that out by doing an example for you. Um, so I want to find h prime of x, where h of x is g of f of the quantity sine of 2x minus 3 w of 5x squared. So w is actually another function. So a lot of chain rule, very complicated function. Uh, it's hard to imagine running into this in the street, but we'll see. So it looks like what we really have is, uh, I kind of colorize this for you, g of some quantity, and that quantity is f of some other quantity. So f got one color, and then the final quantity got its own color. Um, so we need to take the derivative. Well, we know that um, h prime of x is going to be g prime of uh, blah, whatever's in here, times the derivative of blah. So um, we'll work that out. So uh, since this blah stuff here is f of something, um, it'll become g prime of f of all that stuff <clears throat> times the derivative of all that stuff. Well, if it's f of something, the derivative will be f prime of that stuff times, finally, the derivative of that stuff. Um, so we started with g, so we get g prime of whatever, and then times the derivative of whatever, whatever is f of something, so f prime of some new stuff, and then the derivative of stuff. Um, and this probably sounds like nonsense if you don't take derivatives the way that I do, but if you do, uh, it sounds like it makes sense uh, in my head. So let's keep going. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting. So I put parentheses around the derivative of, you know, the f stuff, so it's the quantity f prime of stuff times the quantity the derivative of that stuff, so that's going to matter. Um, it turns out that uh, this final function here is actually uh, the difference of two functions. So we're going to take this derivative as if it wasn't part of the chain rule to begin with. Um, so we're just going to find the derivative of sine of 2x, we're going to find the derivative of 3w of 5x squared, which actually is going to require the chain rule. Um, uh, well, sine of 2x also does. So we find those derivatives. Um, so we get the derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine of 2x. The derivative of 3w of 5x squared is 3w prime of 5x squared times 10x. Uh, and this should be getting easier as you get uh, as the functions get more and more uh, compact. Uh, so this is like your very basic chain rule right here. And so that turns out that the uh, derivative with respect to x of what I'm calling stuff is just the difference of those two derivatives where I simplified the second one. So I'm going to go back and substitute um, for stuff. I'm going to substitute in this sine of 2x minus 3 w of 5x squared, and for the derivative of stuff, I'm going to substitute this in. And that's where the parentheses really, really matter. Um, some common errors, uh, this 2 in front of the cosine of 2x might somehow magically end up on the outside of these parentheses. That's bad, um, because that 2 should not be multiplied by the derivative of um, 3w of 5x squared. Uh, similarly, the 10x here should not be multiplied by uh, this derivative. So you got to really be careful about where you put these things. Um, so we finally end up with uh, this, which I believe to be the final correct answer, um, if nothing horrible happened along the way. And notice these last parentheses really, really matter, and also where you put the, uh, the final little chain rules really matter. So the, the 2 from the sine of 2x had to go with the cosine, but not with this. And then the um, 10x from taking uh, the chain rule here uh, had to go with only uh, this part, right, just here, doesn't actually go with this. So make sure that uh, that doesn't trip you up, and uh, good luck with the chain rule.